Hey, it's Eric here. I invite you to follow along as I walk through how to use the Creative Computing Online Workshop website. So first things first, we need to make sure we're on the right website, and that is creative-computing.appspot.com, and you'll need to go ahead and log in with a Google account. So I'll go ahead and log in with mine really quick. So once we've gone ahead and logged in, um, we'll go ahead and register for an account. So this takes just a few minutes, so we'll go ahead, hit the big old register button, and we'll have to fill out a few questions about us so the Scratch facilitation team has a better sense of who we are. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. So once we've gone ahead and provide this information, go ahead and hit the Enroll button. So we'll be taken to this page where we have a few simple instructions to follow to finish up the registration. One is following this link to participate in community discussions and register at the web forum. So all you have to do is click this link and go ahead and click this button to go ahead and join uh, our group to post. So that will enable you to post. And then you'll have to go ahead and create a Scratch online community account. So this is your Scratch account on the Scratch website. I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. So just go scratch.mit.edu and go ahead and hit join Scratch. And this will be your Scratch account where you'll create all your projects and have them stored. Okay, and then finally we have some instructions here uh, on how to jump into the activities. So that is that. So we'll go ahead and jump back now into the home page. And then front and center here, you will see your workshop schedule. Now, this is going to be your go-to for the activities, for the office hours, and for submitting your design notebooks for that week. So right now, we are in week one. So the only links active right now are, well, for week one. So we can go ahead and dive into the first link here, which are week one activities. So these are going to be your assignments. So we go ahead, click this, and we're taken to an overview page. Now this overview page is essentially, well, an overview of the activities for that week. So if we go ahead and watch this brief video, it will be Karen explaining what we're going to be covering in week one. Now if we want to jump to a certain spot in the video or reference, come back and reference to a certain spot, we, we can just go to this time code here. This is all laid out. And then just jump to that in the YouTube video. So also, if something is being referenced within the video, for instance, a reading, they'll be linked down here in the references. So that is your overview. So once you've viewed the overview, you'll have a better sense of the activities that we're going to be covering that week. So for instance, we have the About Me activity. So we can go ahead, click that, and we'll be taken to the About Me overview page. So essentially, this is going to be uh, a text description here of the activity. And then if we want, we can go ahead and watch this brief video where Michelle will explain the activity and briefly show a few examples. And then below it, we will have the checklist for the activity. So these are your instructions, um, how to share your, your project, and how to give feedback in someone's design notebook, and what you should write in, in your design notebook. So if you're looking for additional guidance on this activity, Specifically, we can go ahead and watch one of these two videos or both videos if you choose. And these are walkthroughs by myself and MJ where we walk through how we created our version of this project. And if, you're, if you really want more resources too, we have here at your fingertips three other um, great resources, which one is a link to a discussion board. And this is the discussion board specifically for this activity. So this will, if you click this link, you can go ahead and post questions um, about the activity. Down here we have the nuts and bolts videos. So these are essentially short videos, five to eight minutes in length that go over some of the concepts in Scratch that are important to this specific project. So for instance, if you're having trouble with uh, the user interface, you can go ahead, and click this video, and it'll be MJ explaining the user interface in about five minutes. Um, and also we have sample projects that we can view. So these sample projects are projects that have been completed in the past that would be helpful um, in completing this project. You can dive in look at the code that they've used, or look at them for inspiration. So we have plenty of resources to help you complete the project. So let's go jump back to the home page, and we will check out the office hours. So this is the second and third link here. These are going to be two sessions of office hours. So we have one on Tuesday and one on Friday. So we'll go ahead and view the one from yesterday. Now office hours are essentially an opportunity for you as the community to ask the facilitation team questions. And we will be on a Google Hangout, all of the facilitation team, and you will be submitting questions via the workshop forum. So if you go ahead and here's the link for the workshop forum, you can just jump into this and ask us a question. Or if you're on Twitter, you can use the hashtag, hashtag CCOW. So essentially just type in your question in a tweet, and then at the end, throw 
hashtag CCOW, and then we will be fielding those questions live um, through a Google Hangout. So as you can see here, we've actually gone ahead and already had this session of office hours, so it's automatically in a video. So if you want to go ahead and watch this um, back or watch this for the first time after the fact, you can go ahead and watch it. But if you're watching them live, you can actually, it's pretty cool, you'll just hit play um, and it will play the live stream. So we'll go ahead, jump back to home and cover the final uh, week one activity here, which is the submission of the peer review of design notebooks. So this is a very important part of the course, and that is keeping and maintaining and sharing your design notebook. So your design notebook can essentially be anything. So it might be a website that you maintain, it might be a blog, it may be a Google Doc, whatever it is, just make sure that it is shareable with a link and it is viewable by the public. So I've gone ahead and used a Google presentation here for my design notebook. So I can go ahead, copy the link there, and then I will jump back into the Creative Computing Online Workshop. And essentially this is telling us that we can go ahead and paste our link to our design notebook here for someone else to view. And then we go ahead and we submit our design notebook link. Okay, so we submit it, and I, yes, I do want to submit this. So what happens is once you submit your design notebook, you will be asked to review someone else's design notebook. So essentially we say, yes, I would like to review, review peer assignments. Okay, and then we have the deadline, so please complete this by this date. So okay, I understand that. So now we hit review design notebook. So now I am given someone else's design notebook to review. So if you want to go ahead and view their design notebook, you can find uh, the notebook to review here. Just, just copy and paste this link to view their design notebook. And then once we have it opened up, we will be asked to fill out these questions. So this is one question, what I like. So some aspect of the design book you found particularly interesting. What you wish you would have seen. So maybe encourage them for further development. Or what if. So present, present a different direction for them per, to pursue. So these are all very important here um, to provide feedback to your fellow classmates. Um, once you're done with this, you can go ahead and submit, but say you're running low on time and want to come back to it, you can go ahead and save a draft and come back to it. So I'll go ahead and save a draft for now. Okay, so my draft has been saved. So you're probably wondering, well, how do I get back to this page specifically at a later date? Well, all you need to do is just go to your home. And once you're at the home, there'll be this new link that appears. It says Review Peer Assignments. So you can go ahead and click this, and you'll be taken to that page. And all you have to do is click Review 1, and you'll be taken to the page with the three questions that you've been working on. So pretty cool. Now we'll go ahead and jump back to home. And when we do receive feedback um, from our design notebook, we can go ahead and access that feedback here just by clicking this link right here. So the Peer Review of Design Notebooks, just go ahead, click that, and we'll see any feedback that we receive will be posted here. So we'll jump back now and talk about some of the remaining tabs here. So we see the announcements. So these are going to be posts about any major happenings in the course. Um, and we see one of my favorite aspects, which is the forums. So the forums are a great spot to connect with other people in the community. So essentially, these are just message boards. And if you've never used the message board before, it, it is just a way for you to post into a different uh, subtopic. So we have here um, workshop-wide discussions. So these aren't really dictated by any week in particular. So this is introducing yourself, it's general workshop questions, it's, it's suggestions, uh, and it's just miscellaneous discussions. So say you have a workshop question. All you do is just jump here, click that, and you'd be taken to um, you know this subtopic here uh, on questions. And if you have one, you can go ahead create a new topic. So a new topic, just type in the subject uh, and your message and then hit go ahead and hit post and it will be sent um, to this uh, little forum here. So go back. We have plenty of different you know subcategories to choose from. So as I said, these are workshop-wide discussions. We have the week one questions and discussions. So if you have questions about specific activities, go ahead, ask them in any of these little subcategories and also office hours. So when office hours come up and you have a question, just go ahead, dive into the, the link there and ask a question. So I love the forums. And I think it's a great spot to uh, talk with other people in the community. And finally, we have a few other links here. So this is the frequently asked questions. So if you have a question um, about the workshop, perhaps it's already been answered here in the frequently asked questions. Then we have the team. So this is the 
uh, the photos and a little description of everyone on the facilitation team. So look out for us on the forums. Uh, and finally, we have the My Profile, which just outlines some of your basic information and also gives you an opportunity to view assignments from uh, future weeks, uh, from previous weeks here. So that is your brief introduction to the Creative Computing Online Workshop website. If you have any questions, I encourage you to reach out to the facilitation team and ask questions on the forums. So I look forward to working with all of you uh, on this course over the next six weeks.